All right, welcome back, everyone. I'm going to do a tutorial here on the laser uh, for Pinnacle Studio 10. So um, just to move things along a little bit here, um, I hope this clears up a little bit of question on how I did this. Uh, this is a special filter you may have to purchase from Pinnacle Studio to get this. So first thing what you want to do is you want to drop in your video clip in the top line here. And as you can see, this is what I've got going here. I'm sure you've seen this already on YouTube. So what we're going to do is once you've got your video clip in there, okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to double click on the clip and it opens up for your special effects. You want to come down here, click on this, and you want to go to Bravo Studio Pack 2. And you want to choose the laser. Click OK. Now, before you do anything else, what we want to do is we want to split the existing clip to where we want the laser to appear and then disappear. So I'm going to move the scrubber to where I want my laser to start from, which will be, uh, as you can see, I'm going to choose right about here. Okay? Then you go over here and you split. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to slowly move the video up a few keys to where I want the laser to stop and then I'm going to split okay so now that you've got three separate clips here okay now what we want to do at this point here is you want to turn off the effects on the end clip and the first clip these two right here so you just go up to here and you just dump it I'm going to go back to my first part of it on this clip here and dump it. Now the only one that has this effect going is the center piece. So let's zoom in so I can work with it a little better. You click on it and as you can see the laser appears again. Over to the left where we dumped it, it's gone. Over to the right we dumped it, it's gone. So I'm going to go back here to the center clip, highlight it, go to the first frame. Now you can see I've got my laser over here in the screen so what I'm going to do is you want to move it to where you want it using X and Y for up and down and left and right okay you also have an angle so I'm going to flip this around only because it for the moment it works for me and I'm going to lower this down and move it across to where my cannon is the end of the barrel and I'd say right about there. Now you can also change the color of the laser also using the color choices here. So let's put in a, eh, it's kind of like a green color. That works for me. So at this point here, as you can see when I move the scrubber, there's my video. And once it comes into that split section, the laser appears for a frame or two and then goes right out again. Okay? That is how I did the laser effect using Pinnacle Studio. Now I'm going to play it and hopefully my computer can run it. There you go. So basically that was how it's, that's how it's done. And I hope this clears up any questions on how it was done. It's very easy to do. You know, you play around with it a little bit. If you want to lengthen that laser shot, that's fine too. Uh, the video clip I used this on is, uh, I was using it originally for a shotgun, so that's why my kick is so abrupt. And uh, using a laser, you may want to hold it still more. It's up to you, whatever you feel like doing. But that's how it works, okay? And I hope this, uh, helps, this helps out everybody. And I appreciate you for uh, emailing me and letting me know what you think about it. Comments are welcome. Take care.